What is going on, guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How's everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a very cool day of tech for you. Hopefully, you're interested in it because I know I am. Let's jive and dive right into it. First story of the day. Pixel event is coming up. The successor to this phone right here, the Pixel 6 Pro, aka the Pixel 7, the Pixel 7 Pro, the new Pixel Watch. They're obviously gonna talk probably again about the Pixel Buds Pro, which are already released. But still, when is the event? They've officially come out and said that October 6th, 10 a.m. will be the event. October 6th is a Thursday. So exactly 30 days from right now, we will be watching and seeing the unveiling of the new Pixel products. Very, very cool stuff. They make the best cameras in the game. I still, to this day, you can give me any phone and if, it, if I'm taking photos of picture uh, people or um, pretty much anything in life, I want to use a Pixel. I love the Pixel cameras. They're freaking awesome. So, so good and so reliable. That is the other keyword, reliable. So, um, not to say you can't get great photos with other cameras, but these are pretty much nonstop awesome. So, very exciting day. Are you gonna watch it? That is the big story of the day. Let me know in the comments down below. And also, which products are you gonna pre-order? Let me know in the comments down below. Our last and most fantastic day of this news life is all about the Pixel Fold because we've gotten some exclusive information coming out from Mr. Ross Young and <sighs> check this out. So this is what's coming out. Ross Young is saying that four months till the foldable Pixel smartphone starts panel production. Are you excited? I'm assuming it will launch in March. So he's saying four months from now, we're gonna start getting the production of their foldable panel, which is supposed to be looking more like an Oppo Find X, which is still a foldable phone akin to a Z Fold you know, two, three, or four. It's just the shape and size and dimensions is gonna be more like an Oppo Find X. And four months from now, what are we in September? So you're talking October, you're talking November, December, January, and then the launch again in about March. So right around the corner guys new foldable phone this should give uh google google should give some 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 hard-earned respect and competition towards that samsung galaxy foldable now i do expect that samsung's going to come out with this phone at a much lower price than the galaxy foldable probably hundreds of dollars cheaper the reason i say that is because there's the rumors are pointing at you know it's not going to have their newest and latest and greatest cameras there's going to be probably probably slower charging probably like 18 watt fast charging on there you're probably also looking at uh it's, hopefully it'll have their newest processor which is supposed to be the tensor 2 processor um the screen's probably not gonna be as great as a Samsung Galaxy tablet, or uh, foldable phone, I should say. So there's probably gonna be things that are downgraded, but I think the greater good that comes out of this is that you're gonna get a foldable phone with very solid to good to great cameras on there. Uh, but also at the same time, it's probably gonna have a price of less than 1,500 bucks. I think it's gonna be less than 1,500 bucks. I think if they downgrade some of the things that I think they're gonna downgrade in, would not shock me at all if they get it into 12 or $1,300 category, uh, categories we'll wait and see um part of me does want the best of the best don't get me wrong i would love and pay for that experience to have the best of the best but at the same time i think it's more important obviously to sell to the greater good rather than the niche category like you have with the rest of us so let me know what you guys think a pixel fold what do they need to do to get the price down and does it even interest you to having like a premium version of the phone versus a non-premium version? Let me know in the comments down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.